In this video, I'm going to go over when you're supposed to use APA. So this student wrote her essay. She wrote about the death penalty. She said Penal Code uh, 187 PC, first degree murder with special circumstances. This is the most common crime for which the death penalty is issued. Examples of special circumstances include prior history of murder, murder of a law enforcement officer, firefighter, judge, witness, prosecutor, or jury member. This is just one of several ways someone can get sentenced to death in California. Other ways all lead ultimately to aiding in the death of another life, either by, by force of misconduct or another means. So here, because she's talking legal language, she has to use in-text citation. The death penalty was first enacted into law in the state of California in 1851 with the first execution not occurring till years later and the lethal injection being introduced in 1993. So if you're using a date, um, then you need to put in an in-text citation. So when you use dates, so she needs to put in an in-text citation right here after 1993. Since the start of having the death penalty reinstated in 19. 1977, there have been a total of 13 executions, uh, with there currently being about 700 uh, inmates currently on death row. So here she mentions 700 inmates, 1977, 13 executions. So right here after the word row, she needed to put in an in-text citation to tell the reader where she got the date 1977, where she got the number 13 and where she got the number 700. So here she needs a in-text citation of Gordon 2022. In order to maintain one single um, inmate for a single year, it costs the taxpayer about $900,000 a year. So here she used the number, nine, oh, so not nine hundred, $90,000 a year. So she needs to write an in-text citation as to where she got the number $90,000 a year. So right here, she would put in Gordon 2022. This is assuming that they get some type of financial help with someone from the outside. Now imagine an inmate who does not have any assistance from anyone outside. It costs the state an average of $184 million, more than housing life without parole inmates because of the high levels of security and higher levels of housing. And so after the word criminals, you need an in-text citation because you have to tell the reader, where did you get the number? 184 million. So anytime you use any kind of number, you have to use an in-text citation. So here she needs an in-text citation for 184 million. She needs an in-text citation for 700. She needs an in-text citation for $90,000. She needs an in-text citation for 1977. She needs an in-text citation for 13. She gave me one in-text citation, Gordon 2022. So I've been telling her to put in Gordon 2022 on all of these. Now she could have used a different book. Okay, it could be Jones 2022. But the point is, every time you use a number, legal information, dates, dollar amounts, um, population amounts, any kind of number you have to put in the in-text citation in order for it to um, in order for it to work. So uh, that, that's basically what I was trying to get to. Let's see if I can move it over a little like this. So here every time she uses a number that corresponds to an in-text citation. Here she uses 700, that gets to have an in-text citation. And here you have criminals. So reopening the death penalty would alleviate a lot of the stress taxpayers have, along with some of the stress the Department of Education of Corrections takes on, having to train and develop new ways of approach to deal with these inmates. Training also comes with a cost with hiring supplemental guards to be able to maintain these inmates. We have to consider and compare the cost of having these resources with the overall cost of executions. The matter of whether or not to maintain civil execution is another topic for another essay. So all of this, she paraphrased her source. So even if you paraphrase your source, 
you still have to have an in-text citation. So this is a five-minute video on telling you that when you use APA, you have, to, you have to use APA for any kind of numbers, dates, amounts, um, and legal information, or, uh, or things that you summarize, like a paraphrase quote. So I hope that this video helps you go over, uh, helps you understand that we use APA for numerical data so that we can give credit to the researcher who actually did the counting, did the research on exactly how much or how many or what year something occurred. So this ends my video on APA and numerical and numerical data. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me anytime.